hello friends welcome to my youtube channel technet guide friends in this video we will learn what is u-turn net and why it's required okay so friends let me explain my topology here okay so you can see this is my lan internal user okay and this is my outside internet okay outside interface here this is my public ip interest public ip and this is my public dns server okay this is public dns server and this is my server here server 100 and server 200 which is belong from dmz zone zone is dmz here zone is internet okay outside and here zone is lan okay so what is uternet when this internal user trying to access trying to access this server okay trying to access this internal server from the public ip address you can see from the public ip address so that is called uternet okay from the public ip address so it will not direct access here okay so this user will hit traffic on this public ip address and this public ip address will be translated to this server destination address okay so so friends why it's required okay you can see this is public dns server when this internal user using public dns server you can see using public dns server to resolve domain name then as we know that public dns server does not resolve any domain name with private ip address so public dns server does not resolve private ip address it only can be resolved public ip address okay public ip address so public dns server cannot resolve private ip address so public dns server only can be resolved public ip address okay public ip address can be resolved so when this user trying to access any domain name suppose domain name then it will be resolved to then it will be resolved to this public ip address and they, then this public ip address will be translated to this server ip address okay so so friends let me tell you what is the path here traffic flow so when this user type a domain name on pc then it will go to the public dns server okay then public dns server will resolve with the ip address this public ip address okay public ip address it will go to the system yeah this is a domain name public ip address then this pc then what will happen then this pc will send traffic actual traffic to the public ip address then public ip address will be translated this destination address will be translated to this server address okay so friend this is a first scenario when source machine and destination machine is in different zone suppose source machine in land zone and destination machine is in dmz zone okay sometime sometime so second scenario is suppose we have a switch here okay we have switch okay so in same zone we have a, our server all here so our server in same zone okay same zone in lan zone our server is also in lan zone forget about this part okay so now it, it's a second scenario my source machine and my server in same zone then how it it will be work in this scenario also domain name will be resolved from this public dns server and it will be resolved to this public ip address so how it will work how traffic flow will be there now friends will see scenario one where my source machine is in lan zone and destination machine is in dmz zone okay so let's start configuration here so you can see this is firewall here so let me show you firewall interfaces 1 slash 1 internal zone 1 slash 2 1 slash 3 public ip 5.5.5.1 okay so so friends you can see i have created one policy from land zone to outside zone for dns resolution here so you can see dns should be resolved from here to here so traffic will be should be allowed here okay so we have allowed 
now what to do so this ip will be translated to this server okay let me create destination net on the firewall so you can see policy then now click here net okay so now here click on add to create net you turn land to dmz okay IPv4 now original packet so in this case source zone will be LAN okay destination zone will be outside destination interface any service any source address my source address will be new address let me create LAN ten dot one dot one dot ten slash twenty four okay LAN source address will, will be LAN so destination address will be firewall public IP address ETH 1 slash 3 untouched zone ok ok so destination address will be my firewall public IP 5.5.5.1 ok now go to the translated source none ok destination will be translated to IP address it will be my server 100 IP address 172 100 100.100 okay now click on okay so you can see our net policy created LAN to outside because my traffic will come from the outside okay so LAN to outside Okay, destination address, my server address, okay, server 100, and this is public IP address, okay. Now, we'll create security policy, policy here, server 100, okay, server 100. So, source, source zone will be LAN, and destination zone, source, okay, source address will be LAN, and destination, destination zone will be dmz okay because it's going to dmz so destination address will be public ip okay so it should be allowed via policy okay now application will be any service any now action allowed okay so you can see we have created this policy just move it up here okay destination zone dmz application any default allow okay now let me show you the routes here routes go to the virtual router default static route so you can see we have a default routes towards internet okay towards this internet now static route we have a static route for server 100 year okay now click here to commit so friends now we have committed successfully now let's go to this LAN PC okay so LAN PC let me show you my DNS configuration so you can see my DNS is 8.8.8 public DNS server okay here is my public DNS server so let me check the domain name resolution cmd ns lookup my technet guide.com so it should be resolved to 5.5.51 public ip address you can see it's resolving to 5.5.1 public ip address so now let's try via browser access via browser technet guide.com so you can see asking for username and password so we have successfully logged in you can see it's successfully translating here and we reached to our server 100 you can see server 100 okay server 100 okay we can also telnet from here do telnet telnet technet guide.com 
okay it's not recognized so we can also ping technetguide.com so you can see resolving to 5.5.1 okay now let's go to the viral bro viral let's see the logs you can see land to dmz okay 5.5 destination u10 net rule let's check the rule here you can see source this one destination 5.5.1 and destination is translated to 172, 16, 100, 100. So means our uh, U-turn net is working fine. And we also able to access this server via public DNS server via public IP address. Okay. And so friends, in this video we have seen how to configure u net when our server in different zone land to DMZ zone. So friends, now in the next video, another part of Uternet. So second part of Uternet, we'll see second scenario where this server will be in same zone here. In the same zone. Okay. We'll see in next video where may this server will be in same zone here. Okay. So thanks for watching this video. Have a nice day.